Welcome to story time, boys and girls. We're gonna have story time, art time, and penmanship all grouped together. So we've been learning about insects. We know that an insect has how many legs? Six legs. We know that an insect has a head, a thorax, and an abdomen, three body parts. An insect can have wings, an outer, wing and sometimes even an inner wing and an insect has antennas. We've been learning a lot about caterpillars and if you haven't viewed Dee Dee's um, playlist on YouTube, you can go ahead and do that because she's captured two caterpillars and is taking care of them. I think they're in a chrysalis and I'm sure she's gonna film some more when they turn into a butterfly. So right now we're gonna read a story and then we're gonna do an art project. You have a white paper plate that I cut that looks like this, and then you have a head for a caterpillar. I'll let you know what you're gonna do with that, okay? Let's go ahead and listen to a story about a very impatient caterpillar. Are you ready? The very impatient caterpillar Using this paper plate and the head. 
So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get some crayons out, markers, or paint, and you're gonna think of a pattern that you like, and then you're gonna go ahead and color the paper plate, and you're gonna glue the little head on. If you want to, and you have construction paper, you could even add the little feet. I'll show you what I did. So I chose pink and purple for my colors to match my head, but you can choose like whatever you guys want. And I made a pattern on my plate, and then I glued on my little head. So here is my caterpillar right here. It is pink, purple, pink, purple, pink, purple, but you can do an ABC pattern, AABB pattern, AB pattern, whatever you choose to do. I chose the AB pattern, and I colored all the way through so it looks nice and neat. And again, if you want to add some little feet to your caterpillar, that would be great. What does a caterpillar, caterpillar turn into? It turns into a butterfly. We'll have to make one of those next, huh? All right, so boys and girls, after you do your caterpillar, you're gonna go ahead and do your penmanship paper. Your penmanship paper is going to look like this. Now, if you notice, mom and dads, it has a yellow box. It has a gray on it. So boys and girls, you want to check the formation of your letters. Your letters need to be touching the lines. You need to trace and print on both sides, but this is the side that you have to be especially careful. I'm checking to see if you have full circles, if those E's are printed the correct way, um, and if you're touching the lines. So just do your very best, and then I'll see you in a little while. All right, guys, love you.